Let's take a look at ordering an item and tracking it through to installation on the job site. The first thing you want to do is on your project create the item that you want to order. So in this case we're on the main items list page and if we go up to edit add we can create an item from new, from our history, use a template or our catalog. Once you create the item, um, you'll have this line item here in the list and it has all the information about the item. You want to make sure that you have the cost um, ready to go and the vendor ready to go as well. And to put that in there, if you don't already have it, just go over to the three dots and click edit item. And here you can find the item edit page where you can adjust all the specs on the item, including the financials and the ordering specs and everything like that. So once you have your item ready to go, um, to create a new purchase order from this item, you want to just go to the three dots, click purchase order. And here you're going to see everything is auto-filled for you. Um, you can enter your own purchase order number if you have your own numbering system. Otherwise, Designer Logic will create it for you. And then you scroll down and you can choose the status from your workflow status. Now for ordering items, you have a status list here. And if you edit that, you can edit it for your own workflow so you can really keep track of your um, orders. Down here, you want to ship to a specific location. You might want to ship to the client's house directly. Um, or you can choose a supplier. If you have a warehouse in your supplier list, you can ship it to a warehouse, um, something like that. Down here, you have your terms and conditions for your purchase order. And you can edit this. And you can spread this out and put as much information as you'd like to. When you have everything set, hit Submit. And here it will open up the purchase order with that item on it. You can see all the information for the item is down here. And if you hover over the three dots, you can always get to all that edit information and everything else that you need to do for that item. Now we can also print this purchase order a whole bunch of different ways. You can create your own custom printout with only the columns that you want, or you can choose from the templates up here. On this purchase order, you can also add new items to it if you want to from the project that you already have items on, or you can also create a brand new item from scratch to add to this purchase order. So it doesn't matter if this purchase order is complete or not. Once you create this purchase order, that's going to put that item into tracking in Designer Logic. So if you come up to the tracking page, here you'll see this item is now in the overall tracking for this particular project and it's on this particular purchase order. It has this ship address right here. And over here we have the um, all the dates for ship dates and everything else which is empty right now. And you have the amount that's ordered and received. Now normally this is going to be one but if you order things with quantity like tiles or um, bricks or something like that, you can check in individual quantities as you get them because you might not get them all at one time. And to do that, you just hit check in quantity. And here you can put in the quantity that you're receiving and any other information and that will update that for you. Now you can update the tracking information from here too. As you get a ship date or an acknowledgement number, you can put in an acknowledgement number, tracking information, um, you can put in estimated ship dates and things like that. When you actually receive the item, put in the receive date that you receive it on. And if the item is actually placed at the job site, you do not need to track it again. Just check placed and that will take it off of this tracking list. Now all that information that you put in here, you can also put in on the main items list for that project, just come over to the three dot menu, click update tracking. And here you see that same information you can put in. You can put in an acknowledgement number, estimated ship dates, and everything else. And you can mark it placed as well. So that's really a quick way to update the tracking information for that item. Now, every item in Designer Logic that is in tracking is going to be also in the global item tracking list. And here you can see all the items for every project that you're tracking. So you can get an overall view of all the outstanding items that you're tracking. If you hit the filters button, you can filter it by supplier. If you want to see just one particular supplier's tracking, it's very easy to do that. Um, or filter by a whole bunch of other different ways, including ship dates and date ranges. Now, um, a couple things to keep in mind is that you can update purchase orders from this page by clicking on a purchase order number.
And that will take you directly to the PO where you can edit the details of the purchase order or add new items or things like freight charges and whatnot if you need to. Another thing to keep in mind is if you go to a suppliers page and you go down to the suppliers dashboard for a particular supplier, you click on their name here, it will automatically open up to all the orders. So you can see all the purchase orders that you have for that supplier and if you hit tracking for that supplier, you will see all the items that have been ordered um, and what PO number they're on. Um, and any ship date information um, will show up down here. And this will give you a really good idea of what you're tracking for a specific supplier if you want to see it on their main page. Also on the home page of Designer Logic, over here you'll see tracking notifications. Um, anything that's in the tracking system that has upcoming ship dates or ship dates that have passed or a ship date that's coming up but the client has not yet been invoiced, um, that will show up right here. And you can update that tracking information by clicking on the pencil icon. You can also update the overall filtering for this little module by clicking on that button and you can see here you can update this to be whatever you'd like to. Now the last thing we'll show you um, in Designer Logic is if you're specking a project uh, for a client and you're not going to order the items yourself, the client is going to order and pay for the items themselves and you're just doing the spec job, but you need to track those items for the client. Um, what you can do is when you make a new item, and here we're going to shortcuts and click on new item. And when you fill out all this information to make the item, and you come down to this tracking section right here, you can put an installation goal in here uh, for when that item needs to be installed with clients, but you can also click always track. And what that'll do is that will put this item in the tracking system even if it's not on a purchase order. It normally defaults to only track if on a PO so that the only things that track automatically are on purchase orders. But if you have special items that you need to track that are not on a purchase order, just select that right there. And then when you create this item, it will automatically put that into the tracking system.